Hi, my name is Dave from Sync Technology Solutions, and we're going to go over some frequently asked questions. Uh, top of the list, the very top for the Xbox 360, most frequently asked question is, what is a red ring of death? And basically, it's an indicator from the Microsoft Xbox saying that it overheated. And uh, if you look on the front of your Xbox, you'll have four lights on the front of it, which are normally green when it first starts up. If you first start it and you get one red light, the next time you start it, it's going to turn into a red ring of death. And basically, that's the over -temp temperature sensor that's on the motherboard indicating that the uh, video graphics processor has overheated. And then you'll have to go through a lengthy repair either through micro Microsoft or a local repair center to get that fixed. Another frequently asked question with the Xbox 360s that I get from kids everywhere is can I take my hard drive with my saved games over to my friend's house and play on his Xbox because they'll have a little party or whatever they want to switch back and forth between their profiles. Yes you can. And basically what you do with your hard drive is there's a small button on the very top of it. If you press that button in and lift from the very front part up take the hard drive out, you can take it with you anywhere. And it is that, it's a hard drive. Same thing on the other Xbox, pop it right in, push it down, and you're ready to go. The next question that I get a lot is, I have no video, but I have audio on my Xbox. The green lights come up, but there's nothing on the screen. Uh, if you've seen an Xbox 360 video cable that plugs into the back, there's a small switch on the very back of the connector and that switches from analog TV to high definition TV. A lot of times when people take their Xboxes in and out, they'll actually bump that switch to one or the other and then they get no picture on the TV. So that is an easy fix. Look, if you have no video, for first thing that you need to check is make sure that switch is where it's supposed to be, either on regular TV or high def TV, depending on how you have it plugged into the back. The next big question that we get is the updates for say the menu or anything else in the Xbox. Firmware updates are pretty much permanent. Once you step up it is a very lengthy and expensive process to go backwards. So if one of your friends has updated their menu system to the new style and you hate it, don't upgrade to it. You can say no.